with the first ever boxing match filmed in 1894, we have over a century of boxing matches filmed throughout the years. And because of this, we have been able to witness some of the greatest knockouts and some of the greatest knockout artists of all time. From even smaller devastating punchers like Gervonta Davis, to fighters having to wear extra protective gear when sparring the likes of Gennady Golovkin, aka Triple G. Hell, you need to listen to this absolute missile landed by Puerto Rican up-and-comer Edgar Berlanga. Opens up and gets floored by a right hand! My god, I've never heard a punch sound that loud before. But the most powerful puncher of all time, respectfully, in my humble opinion, being Deontay Wilder. Pace. Oh, oh wow. that's back us down! But of course, with the likes of George Foreman being a very close second. Oh. With Francis Ngannou being a prolific knockout artist in his own respects in the MMA world, holding a record of 17-3 with 12 of those wins coming by way of knockout and deciding to make his way to the boxing ring to take on the Gypsy King, 33-0, 24 knockouts is Tyson Fury. And without a doubt, one punch can completely change the outcome of this fight. So let's talk about it. Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou is probably one of the most intriguing boxing matches that we have seen. Very reminiscent of when Conor McGregor took on Floyd Mayweather. We have a heavy knockout artist coming from the MMA world making his way into boxing to take on one of boxing superstars. I think the big question going into this fight is can Francis Ngannou do what Deontay Wilder couldn't? And that's not only hurt Tyson Fury, because as we saw, Deontay Wilder was able to do so, but he couldn't get him up out of there, still managed to lose. But can Francis Ngannou take out the Gypsy King when the most powerful puncher of all time was unable to? Is the power going to translate over from those 4-ounce MMA gloves to these 10-ounce boxing gloves? As we all know, Francis Ngannou does currently hold the record for the hardest punch ever recorded in the entire world, equivalent to 96 horsepowers, which is equivalent to getting hit by a Ford Escort going as fast as it can, and is said to be more powerful than a 12-pound sledgehammer being swung from full force overhead. This is some serious brute strength, some God-given punching power. But will it be enough, is the question. As we all know, Tyson Fury has fought the most powerful puncher of all time in Deontay Wilder, on three separate occasions. So I'm just not sure if this fight is gonna go any different from what we've seen in the past. My prediction for this fight is, I think Tyson Fury is gonna fight a very smart fight in the beginning. I think he's not gonna take any risk. I think he's gonna fight a very similar to how he fought Deontay Wilder in those three fights. I think he's got this down to a science, fighting these big, powerful punchers. I think I expect Tyson to take his time, do a lot of clinching, Dude, I expect a lot of clinching from Tyson Fury at the beginning of this because I think he's going to put that weight on Francis Ngannou, make him carry that weight, tire those legs out. As we all know, you generate power from those hips, from those legs. You take out those legs, the power goes with it. So from round after round, Francis Ngannou carrying that weight, I, I'm not sure if the power will be able to be there in those later rounds, but I expect Tyson Fury to either play with Francis Ngannou and get him up out of there in those later rounds, or win via decision. But like I said, the power of Francis Ngannou is what makes this fight so interesting. Because one punch, one mistake, can turn the lights out. And it could be curtains. It could be good riddance. It could be good night. And it could be the end of the night and the end of the reign, the undefeated reign of Tyson Fury. And one last thing I wanted to add was how fast this fight actually came up. It's actually kind of crazy how quick this fight has come up. I think it's very, very smart for Tyson Fury. He took a page out of Floyd Mayweather's book. Floyd Mayweather done the same with Conor McGregor. Didn't give him much time to prepare. So going into a boxing match, he knew the cardio wasn't going to be there. He knew the stamina. He knew the punching power wasn't going to last. So it's looking like Tyson Fury is doing a very, very similar strategy against Francis Ngannou. Let's see how it works out for him. Let me know your predictions in the comments below. Can Francis Ngannou pull off the huge upset and shut all the doubters up? How do you think this fight will pan out? Who comes out victorious and by how? Again, it's going down this Saturday, October 28th. I cannot wait. As always, thank you all so much for the support and I'll catch you in the next video.